Hey guys, Sunkracker here with a different kind of video. Um, I have a map, well, obviously I play Minecraft casually, if weirdly enough, aside from my YouTube videos, and I saw Ambidim do something like this, where he kind of did a monthly update just to kind of show people, like, just his casual self-playing Minecraft, just kind of showing a tour of his personal world aside from making videos so i figured i'd do that and uh yeah i hope you guys like it okay so first up on the tour gotta put well put up my inventory real fast so i don't lose anything that would be bad Alrighty. now to get started on a tour you can kind of see the gist of my house i'm not really one to like build bases or anything i'm not really like a creator in minecraft i guess i just kind of like just going out exploring surviving as you'll see later in this video like i i'll probably cut out the traveling parts because like i'll just start walking in one direction and not stop until i find something and then since i found something i'll just continue see that right there you can see that water kind of goes from my nether portal and lava stuff to here my little confined farm again because i just wanted like a little house kind of thing on the side of the hill because I just thought that works better. Now you see the enchantment table, the anvil, the crafting table, chest, furnace, and cauldron all on this one wall. I'm pretty proud of this wall because only three things on this wall have I crafted before this map. And that is because in the past two years that I've played Minecraft, Xbox, and PC, I just never gotten around to making any of that stuff. So that's Pretty cool, I thought. Pretty proud of myself. I've also never enchanted anything before until this map. Which is kind of why I like to play Minecraft casually is just kind of whenever I want, just start doing stuff. There's my sword, my pickaxe, my bows. I'm going to try to combine those bows to get power 3 bow. I just haven't gotten enough experience quite yet. Uh, so that's the gist of the house. Now that we're almost there, we, uh, from the tunnel away from my house, I have this cool little, like, underwater mining area. Don't know if you guys can see it too well, like, we'll probably turn up the brightness. Uh, I just set up these signs. I'm sure it's been done before, but I thought it was a cool kind of idea. Of It's almost like a, kind of reminds me of something like they would do on the moon. Like little breathing stations. So yeah, I've actually found, I think, two ravines total using these little things. So yeah, that's pretty cool. And we are now back to the house. And uh, we'll show you guys what it's in my chest. That's a weird word. There, This is all my, like, just, you know, normal casual stuff that I've found. Also, guys, real quick while it's showing... I'm really tired right now. I recorded these the other day on just doing a voice narration and post. Because I just thought that would be better. And uh, yeah, there's all my valuables. And I'm doing this, and I've only been awake for like 30 minutes. So I apologize if audio in my voice is a little off today. So yeah, I have like seven diamonds and an iron pick. I mean, uh, diamond pickaxe. So pretty proud of that. Gonna switch over to creative real fast. So that way I can show you everything else pretty easily. I don't know how to type in commands apparently. There we go. And it is now daytime. Oh, I'm pretty proud of this right here. Although I, it's something I've done before, but I've always liked redstone doors. Like anytime I get the chance to use something redstone, I always do. And I don't know why all those mobs were just like waiting for me. I don't remember doing anything to them. Okay, and yeah, my house doesn't look too pretty on the outside, but um, it's still a work in progress. Next month's update, you know, you guys will see a difference there. My mob spawner, which I just like making mobs. This was very difficult to build in survival, actually. I surprisingly didn't die once trying to build it. Uh, aside from normal mob spawners, I've got a little collecting area so that way. They don't have drops inside that I don't get. That fence there. 
Because originally I had a few issues with the spider getting out of a bunch of other stuff, so that's why it's a little weirder in the front compared to other mob spawners. Head inside, I show you what the inside looks like. They uh, spawn on each of those platforms, is usually, well, it's the way it works. And they'll just like casually every now and then a couple will fall into the stream and they don't really fight water currents and they'll just fall into the hole where I deliver the final blow to kill them. To put it nicely, I guess. And I get the experience in the drops, so that's always good. Alright, let's just uh, clear up my waypoints real fast. Which, by the way, this is really helpful if you're like, again, like me, if you're not a creationer, that's a weird word, and you're more of a, like, adventure kind of person, you'll definitely need that for, like, because I've traveled thousands and thousands of blocks away from home just to, like, find one village. So, yeah, Ray's minimap is definitely a mod that helps. Uh, I think I'll link to a video down below on how to get, where to get Ray's minimap and that kind of sort of thing. So, yeah. Let's see, first up on the list is I will show you the first ravine that I found on this map. So now we're almost to the ravine and uh, just gonna hop right down. It actually looks like, cause I've seen some ravines that are just kind of like hollowed out, no water lava. And like, I think the look of that like water lava, like it's nothing I did obviously, but like that's probably one of the better things in Minecraft. I always thought that just looked really cool. The next location real fast here would be the small ravine I found outside my house. Which is really not much, but leads to, to some pretty interesting things, actually. Nice little random mine shaft, which again, well no, actually I think, yeah I found one before. But not on this map. It was a map that I attempted to play casual on, but again, I tried the whole creating thing, and again, it's just not my thing. So I tried the whole survival thing on this one, and yeah, things go a lot, lot, lot better. It's like, I'm like, alright, I'm gonna go find a village. Nope, I get sidetracked 30 million times trying to find a village, because I'm like, ooh, lava pool. Ooh, mob spawner. Ooh, I'm gonna make a mob trap for the mob spawner. Uh, ooh, I have no fight in this thing field. Alright, now let's go to the village. Nope, I just found a sand temple. And it's just like, constantly getting sidetracked. But it's, definitely, it keeps me playing. Alright, to the next location. Oh yeah, quick little thingy over here in the swamp biome real fast. My, the first, uh, witch house that I found. Surprisingly, I didn't find a witch in it, or since I found it, I haven't found a witch even around it. Totally not where I got my cauldron and flower pot, whatever. <laughs> Alright, next location. And we're at the desert biome portion of, which this is like probably a thousand bucks away. There's a lava pool, there's a little hut I had to stay in because I didn't realize deserts filled with mobs like instantly the night time night came. I thought they'd be safer, but nope. Over here is like an above ground spawner I found. I thought it was pretty neat, neato. Yep, used to it. Yeah, like I said, cause I'm like, all right, I'm gonna go to this place to find a sand temple, and then I found like five different things, as you can see with the waypoints. And over here, okay, I remember this being far away, so cut to the sand temple. And we are at the sand temple, guys. Holy cow, that traveled fast. And then down here is the, you know be trapped in the sand temple. I was sure not to do that. Dug out all around the TNT so we could have it all exposed and because I don't really know if I want to dig it out or just leave it there. It's just kind of, I don't know. I almost said memory but not really I guess but I guess come up with what I should do with that. All right and to the next location. Over here is my do-it-yourself village, well, it was already a village, but do-it-yourself wall. I'm hoping to at some point make the wall better, but so far I've just been way too lazy to even think about messing with the wall for the village. Safe enough and lit up enough that they'll be fine. Also, it was a, I was happy that I even found a village in the first place, but it was only had two villagers whenever I first found it. 
And a bad thing was I thought putting up the wall would keep all the mobs out, but then I forgot if I didn't put down torches that zombies could still spawn inside because I was dumb. That white villager you just saw, I left, came back the next day, and found the white villager hidden in the church, and it had three zombies outside of it. Well, two zombies and a zombie villager. And I thought, crap, because now I just have one villager who wants 12 emeralds for an iron pickaxe. Well, I don't remember, but I was pretty sure it was something like that. So I went ahead and spawned one, and then I would lit it all up. So that way I would have at least two villagers. So yeah, that's good. Alright, to the next location. And we are at my jungle home. Well, the place I resided as I searched for a jungle temple. Did not find one, surprisingly, and I searched like all over the jungle. It's not really much of a house, it was just more of, like I said, little shelter as I searched for the jungle temple. Almost died a lot, and didn't find a single ocelot, strangely enough. If you watch my Minecraft series, I find ocelots just like in the forest, not even in a jungle. But I didn't find a single one in the jungle. So, next location. And to the next location, real quick thing, under my house I have this little, uh, big cave hub, which has like little tunnels going all around it, and I guess I'm leaving real fast, but it has a bunch of, like, well, okay, I remember now, has, I just kind of house my giant mushrooms there for mushroom soup. The way I get down here is that little waterfall that you see transitioning from my nether portal to my farm is that waterfall and then the other one is from my farm yeah that's weird little we have a lot of little tunnels branching out from here so uh this leads to the next location and we're at the skeleton spawner that i have foundeth which i have currently disabled for future mob trapping still trying to figure out how to make a mob trap just using the mob spawner which brings us to a ravine. Wait, I may have just seen diamonds. If so, I'm got to remember this recording. Although I think this may have been the same ravine from earlier. In which case I am extremely dumb. But oh well. But alas. Alright, and to the next location. And here is probably one of the best moments in this map or any map I've ever played in Minecraft. I found 10 diamonds under that cobblestone. You'll see why I put that cobblestone. 10 diamonds. It was two veins and the veins were right beside each other. There was one vein of seven and a vein of three. The reason why I put that cobblestone is because I didn't want lava or zombies or anything destroying my diamonds. Because I don't think I've ever even seen anyone find 10 diamonds within 10 blocks of each other. And I thought that was like the best thing ever. So I built this little shelter, dug them all out. And yeah, I now have my diamond pickaxe and I don't even know what to do with the other seven because I don't want to waste, I'm horrible about uh, not wasting diamonds. So then I just have diamonds sitting there forever and I'm like, no, I'll use them later. Hey, gold, cool. didn't even see that earlier. All right, and I think there's one more location. We'll see. Well, I guess that's all for this tour. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, I know it was probably boring for some of you. It wasn't as entertaining as some videos, I understand. Uh, so comment below if you liked this idea, if I should do this more often, do it more than monthly. You guys probably noticed I also have more done than I do on my actual Let's Play map. So, uh, yeah. Anyways guys, my name is Sincracker. You're awesome for watching this. It'd be awesome for you to subscribe. Anyways guys, like I said, my name is Sincracker. And, uh, goodbye!